Hi there, it's Melissa here um, on the Camino de Santiago. I'm currently in the city of Lugo in Galicia. And um, I've actually chosen to stop my Camino and I'll talk about that in another video. Um, but due to some tendonitis, I am sitting here in a, a private room in an albergue. Uh, and I thought I would make this video for you to just talk about a few reasons that I see um, this Camino is perfect for introverts and highly sensitive people. So um, when I set out on, uh, on my journey for the Camino or really determining which Camino I would take, I knew that I wanted a great deal of solitude and time for introspection. I wasn't really doing this um, to, to meet other people, although I love connecting with other travelers. I certainly wasn't doing it as a religious pilgrimage, but really as just this time to, to walk and see how I would feel and learn about myself in the process. Um, and so there are a few reasons that stood out and that I found to be true during this Camino. Um, and despite no longer continuing and that being a challenge um, you know, mentally for me and, and physically, uh, I still think that there's a lot that I've learned during this journey that I'd like to share with you. Um, so the first reason that I think this particular Camino is um, perfect for introverts is that you do have plenty of time to recharge. So the Camino Frances, for example, is the more popular route. Um, and I think you still have that time to recharge. And of course, you can always find that. But um, people are more... It's just there, there are more people on the Camino, there are more people in the albergues, you're more likely to run into people and maybe feel obligated to talk in some shape or form. Um, and on this Camino, I felt like I've had a lot of time just to be able to walk on my own um, without having to have company during that walk. Um, and in the evenings, I've spent that time doing some yoga, doing some journaling, and um, really allowing that time for introspection. And I found that people have respected that. Um, and many people are on a similar type of journey and chose this Camino for the same reasons. Um, the second reason I think it's perfect for introverts is that you have plenty of natural beauty um, on the Camino Primitivo. So there are some times when you walk on highways or along a roadside in some way that might not be as pleasant. And we do pass through some cities and villages, but um, almost every day, at least from what I've done up until from Oviedo to Lugo, um, I've had a healthy dose of nature every day. And for me, that's really helped that time to recharge. It's helped me to feel grounded um, while I've been in pain. And it's helped me to um, really, honestly, like release any anxiety that I was experiencing before this trip. I haven't felt an ounce of anxiety. Um, up until maybe yesterday and being stuck in a in a room in a city instead of in the wilderness. Um, the third thing is the people that you meet along the way. So even though, um, you know, introverts, we like our time alone, we also do like to connect with others. Um, and what I found is that um, the conversation typically moves to something meaningful rather quickly. And I oftentimes go days without knowing somebody's name or what they do for a living back home, all those kinds of typical small talk questions that um, we often don't like in, in social settings. Um, and sometimes we end up talking about things that are much more um, profound in some way or just make a connection. Um, but I find that at the same time that like you don't have to like spend all of your time. So just because you have a conversation with someone doesn't mean that you're gonna be like walking with them for the next several days and that you have to plan your Camino around them. It's really been quite the opposite. Um, and you know, I can give an example of just with meaningful conversation that actually brings me to my fourth point. Um, there have been several people during this trip that I've met for like a few minutes walking and one woman shared a story like within 10 minutes that she was doing the Camino with her husband's ashes because he had walked the Camino for um, the last like eight years or seven years or something until he passed away last year. And so she was still carrying his energy with her on her Camino and doing this, um, as, you know, as a ritual of sorts 
for herself and for him, which was, I thought was really lovely that she shared that with me. Um, but just because she shared that, it didn't mean like just a few minutes after that, she was like, okay, buen camino. And like, we parted ways and I actually never saw her again. Um, and so those things happen and those are really some special moments. And the last point that I'd like to make um, about just why the Camino is perfect, and I guess this goes for any Camino, but the Camino de Santiago is, you know, when people say like my Camino or mi Camino, um, I think we're able to recognize that we each have, so Camino is way or path in, um, in Spanish or in English, however you want to translate that. Um, but there's this recognition that we're like all on this collective journey um, and that's a lovely thing but that we don't have to follow the group and that we are really each individually on our own path so whether that means um, you know staying in a municipal albergue the very basic places or staying in a private room sometimes or taking a bus through a stage or walking slower or walking faster or whatever it might be. We're on our own journeys. And um, even though I've stopped my physical Camino towards Santiago this year, uh, I still know that I'm on my own journey of just respecting my body and my own sensitivity, my own introversion and my own sense of self. So those are a few reasons. If you would like to ask any other questions about why um, why I chose this Camino or like how it's helpful for introverts, please feel free to contact me at my website at melissanoelrenzi.com. You can email me there and buen Camino. <laughs>